The adoption of artificial intelligence is on the rise in healthcare, solving a variety of problems for patients, hospitals, health education, and the health industry in general. Today, we look inside Prognica, an AI-based technology for the early detection of breast cancer, making things more accurate, accessible, and affordable. Take a look with me. What exactly is Prognica? Prognica uh, Labs is a company, a startup a health tech company where we are working on early detection of breast cancer using artificial intelligence and machine learning. Can you tell us a little bit about the actual technology and um, the latest equipment it's set with? How the application works is uh, anybody who, the user can just log in uh, onto our application. They will upload those mammogram or ultrasound DICOM images onto the application and within two minutes of time, they will get a final report with all those marking and annotation on the images. It will do segmentation, feature extraction, and based on that, it will tell uh, the user that whether it is, uh, you know, uh, abnormal or normal, or what, what stage cancer is kind of, even that as well. On an average, a radiologist take around 10 minutes to 20 minutes to read one case, a mammogram or ultrasound, what I'm talking about. Our software is much faster than that. So you just have to upload, as I said, and, and within two, uh, two minutes, it will give me a result. So that will actually help. It's just not a, a reporting tool or something. Our application is basically a support system or supportive tool for radiologies. So tell us a little bit about your journey and when and why did you want to set up Prognica? This is actually my second company. So coincidentally, I came across a woman who had uh, been suffering from breast cancer or maybe uh, their family members or something. And uh, then I started uh, doing lots of research uh, related to that because I didn't have any background, uh, medical background. So I'm, I'm an engineer. So, and, and uh, never before I had uh, been into healthcare or anything. So I had to do a lot of research. I did around six to eight months. I, I read myself like, you know, what exactly the breast cancer is, the causes, the symptoms and the, um, uh, the solution for early detection and things like that. So I was earlier thinking of getting into uh, you know treatment of breast cancer. So pathology basically comes in. Then I thought no, rather than getting into the pathology, let, let us stop at the early stage itself. So th that's what the uh, actual uh, you know uh, the requirement is, or maybe the require uh, people need it. Maybe for next six months we'll be focusing on UAE. We'll be catering to UAE population. Uh, then we definitely have a plans to step into uh, other part of GCC. Like uh, uh, immediately we'll be we are thinking of getting into Saudi Arabia and, and the uh, other uh, GCC countries and uh, now as the current focus is mammogram and ultrasound we, we, we will be working even on the MRIs and then probably after that uh, we are thinking of starting with the thyroid cancer as well so that's what we're looking at here. Yeah. Thank you so much it's my pleasure having you.